Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon of the Week. I'm your host DeoGenZ and I'm hoping your weekend is going swell. Today, in the mood of spring, we're going to look at a flower child called Lilligant that is great as a special sweeper. Looking at his special attack stat, it's obvious why this thing is a special sweeper. It doesn't have the highest of all speeds, but by maxing it out to 252, then attaching the ability Chlorophyll to it, it will have its speed doubled in the sunlight. So perhaps you want to consider maybe holding a heat rock for this Pokemon or having multiple pokes that can reignite Sunny Day should it fade away or even including Sunny Day as one of its additional moves to swap out something like Sleep Powder. Although strategic wise I would recommend keeping Sleep Powder because that's a great way to set up on your foes. Every time you successfully shake your rump under the sun via Quiver Dance you'll get a one stage boost in speed, special attack, and special defense. Which is very handy, especially when coming against fire types to sort of stave off the one hit KO. Although, if a fire type does appear on the field and you don't have hidden power rock on your Lilligant, then go back to the ball because it will most likely be eliminated. And what a shame to lose a sweeper so swiftly. So for Hidden Power Rock, it's a good overall spread of super effectability, hitting Bug, Flying, and Fire. Actually, strike that, I just recognize that all of its weaknesses are covered by this one Hidden Power Rock type move. And here are the IV spreads for Hidden Power Rock. Uh, if you wanted to have something to uh, take on the Steel types, I personally would just switch out because it doesn't pay to use this sweeper in that sort of way. If somebody tries to wall you with a steel type, unfortunately, they're going to be semi-successful. So perhaps a good counterpart to go with this poke is a fire type, something like Nine Tails maybe, something that can unleash Sunny Day and Fiery Hell on your foes in one fell swoop. And take note that uh, it won't only just be able to interact with Nine Tails from the OU tier, but it also is usable in UU and RU. Again, I'm really not sure how these things are decided upon. I know it's a community decision, basically circled around Smogan. So when it comes to defining which Pokemon sits where, I'm just uncertain how you would go about doing that. But these are the tiers that I saw suggested, so it's what I'm going to go with. And what I recommend you try Lilligant for. Set 2 comes straight from Badass X Scrafty, who also submitted something in the past. And he came up with an awesome Lilligant set here that I didn't even consider when initially seeing the Sun Boosted set. But this Lilligant can stand on its own. Of course, the effort values are going to be the same since it doesn't change its basic stats. It's going to be still a special sweeper, but of a different type. This one is more self-sufficient in that it doesn't need a Sun Boost to get going to what it needs to do. Now, of course, you won't have that immediate doubling of speed when Lilligant enters the field, and that may be something to consider against some of the faster foes of the OU territory. But even that said, you still include Sleep Powder on this set, and you'll be able to boost your speed along with Special Attack with Quiver Dance. What makes this set really cool is the Pedal Dance plus ability Own Tempo. Since the one shortcoming of Lilligant is its limited move pool, to maximize on its special attacking powers, whether it's Solar Beam, which requires the Sun, which was an option, an additional move for the past set, uh, does 120 base damage, or Petal Dance, but has the nasty stipulation of causing confusion to your poke, which is just something you don't need to deal with, that is all negated as soon as you have the ability Own Tempo, which prevents confusion. Now, there's one other ability that I could mention here, which is Leaf Guard, which prevents Lilligant from getting any sort of status inflictions. I suppose it's semi-useful, but in overall metagame matches, you shouldn't be too concerned with it. If somebody poisons Lilligant, try and pump all the power out of it while it's still on the field as you can, and switch to another sweeper at that point because own tempo, the ability to never be confused, allows you to repetitively use pedal dance no matter what the conditions of the weather are. It can be sunny, rainy, hailing, sandstorm, doesn't matter. Pedal dance will always pwn your foes if you have own tempo attached. So 
Shoutouts to Badass X Crafty. That is a badass suggestion right there. I didn't see that when I first uh, took a look at this set, but going over its moves again, I realized that that is really a powerful combination. And Heal Bell as sort of a semi-supporting move that allows you to remove all the status conditions on your party members. So now you see why Leaf Guard is kind of a pointless ability for Lilligant to possess, especially when it already has two very potent and powerful abilities that work well for each of the sets that we went over here today. Uh, if it was up to me though, I personally would switch out the Heal Bell and place in Hidden Power Rock, just because you need something to combat four of Lilligant's weaknesses, which are prevalent in metagame, and it's not a supporter. You know, it's great if you have the extra time on your side to be updating supporting type moves, but if you're going to do any support, do support for your own self with Lilligant doing another quiver dance, whether it's beneath the sun or in the clouds in the shade, it doesn't matter. You want to keep boosting that Lilligant so it is a behemoth of special attacking super speed power. When your opponent is in the sleepy lands, it's time to dance. And I do believe that's all I've got to say for these two sets, this Pokemon of the week. I hope you've enjoyed this spring-themed Pokemon edition. And next week, next week, next week, we'll be taking on the mascot of my college. That should be quite interesting. So remember to subscribe to Planet Poke for this and all other Pokemon-generated content. Anything related to Pokemon walkthroughs tutorials, effort value training, doesn't matter. Subscribe here, it will all be available. And if you got some free time, you're bored, you want to watch a fun, awesome LP, check out my channel, youtube.com backslash DOGENZ. And uh, separate from LPs, something I do only on that channel, is called Gaming Gauntlet. It's my podcast where I like to interview people, I like to have long discussions about gaming philosophy, and we recently just got a Kickstarter indie developer on there named Christopher Volpe who's working on a game called Dangerous. So if you're interested in the indie scene, maybe you yourself want to start programming some games, I highly recommend you check out that interview by clicking one of the diverse dimensions of DOGENZ to delve into. See you next week.